So did you hear about the claustrophobic astronaut? Well, he just wanted more space. <laughs> Sp Perfect. <laughs>so what a great year it's been for jordan brand they have given us so much heat this year the likes of the fire red freeze the amamini f4s the lost and found ones and that's just to name a few but with all those hype silhouettes aside there have been some absolute sleepers too and in my opinion this is defo one of them on today's episode we are reviewing the gorgeous jordan one gorge green Now, if you've been watching my channel long enough, you know I'm more of an Air Max fan than a Jordan guy. Due to hype, but mainly not even being able to cop him, so I just can't be asked. But to think this Jordan 1 Gorge Green has been absolutely sitting for quite some time. And that is mainly because of the lost and founds. They came out near enough the same time as them. Now, these do retail over here in the UK for 165 quid, but I managed to get them under retail off eBay. And I won't lie, I weren't even trying to get them too much. I just put a low offer of £145 on there and they accepted. But I'll be honest, getting these in hand, I'm absolutely glad I did. And before we touch on reasons why, let's have a look at the box. Now, no fancy age look to this box. It is pretty standard to the Jordan 1 high box. Coming in that black box with the red Nike branding. But the product sticker does say Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. And the official colorway is gorge green and metallic silver. Now, other than that, there is a spare set of white laces in a little Jordan branded box. So if you didn't like the green pair of laces it came with, then at least you've got those. Now there are a lot of comparisons with this pair in terms of the metallic panels on the shoe, having a lot of similarities to that Japan exclusive pack and of course the Bordeaux as well. And I know a lot of people are put off by the metallic silver Nike swoosh, but for me, I kind of like it. Now over here in the UK, we did get them first. I believe in America, they are getting them on the 20th, if I'm not mistaken. But if you are looking to cop these on release or even get them on the resale market, of course, you're thinking about how they fit. And these do fit for me very much true to size, like every other Jordan 1 I've tried on. So whatever Jordan 1 or Nike Dunk that you go with, I'd say stick to that. But short story long, broskies, these were a true to size. Now the materials on this shoe will definitely surprise you because trust me, as soon as I got these in hand i was very happy but don't take my word for it broskies have a look for yourself the leather panels on this pair are buttery smooth it really does have a great tumbling to it and what's great about that is even if they're creased they're still gonna look good but the overlays in green and even the underlays in white there isn't really much to complain about defo one of the best jordan one highs to drop this year in terms of qc and materials but moving around the shoe it is pretty standard when it comes to the jordan one design there's nothing too stand out ish other then the metallic silver to the nike swooshes and then the jordan wings logo toward the lateral side now i've gone for the green laces on my pair just because i just think it goes a lot better but comment down below broskies would you go for the white or even a black pair of laces on here now we've got the standard nylon tongue to this shoe and then of course the nike air branding towards the top and then we've got that green cotton sock liner which is a lot better than white thankfully in terms of dirt these will defo hold up a lot better but what does come in white unfortunately for me is the insole and we do also have that nike air branding in green towards the back now moving our ways to the back of the shoe we do have that great tumbling towards the ankle collar on that white leather panel now yes i did slightly touch on it earlier on but we do have that air jordan wings logo in that sort of dual tpu panel for me i'm a bit skeptical it does look really good but if it does get scuffed or scratched it's gonna drive me loopy but moving on to the midsole here it is very standard when it comes to the jordan one and to be fair so is the the outsole but it is as iconic as it gets i am glad they went for that green outsole though if they went for black i kind of feel it would have ruined it a bit but broskies what are we thinking so far is this tickling your pickle but most importantly are these a buy or a buy now yes the jordan one lost and found did take all of this sneaker shine over here in the uk but that's not taking nothing away from this shoe and yes i might have preferred those nike swooshes in black but the silver is defo growing on me and i am defo glad i've got them now because i needed some green shoes in my rotation i don't really have too many of them and for these being less than retail for me anyway i was very happy to scoop them up but you know what even the retail price isn't that bad for the materials you're getting and of course the color blocking to it as well and of 
course it's a Jordan 1 higher. These are definitely slept on by a lot of people and I can't blame them. It's been a very expensive year for a lot of us. And if these shoes came out earlier on in the year, I think they would have been a little bit more hyped. But regardless, this gorgeous gorge green, I'm such a fan of it. The plush material does make it a lot more comfortable on foot as well. And I don't say that too often about a Jordan 1. So overall, I'm singing the praises of this sneaker a lot because it is indeed an absolute buy. But broskies, comment down below and let me know what you think. Are you after a pair of the Gorge Green Jordan 1s or was this an absolute miss? Leave it all down below and I will pin the best comment. But thank you for stopping by and whilst you're here, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. And till the next episode, take care. Now you're a plonker, honestly. What the...